Hi there, this is Heather Estes and I'm a teacher for the Arbor Learning Community and here is a class recap from our U.S. History course from Civil War to present day. We had class May 13th on Wednesday and we actually had presentations due that day. We all got together and finished up our Cold War unit including the civil rights movement that happened in the meantime of that time period. Um, we had a lot to cover and students really ran with it and I was so excited to see our project. So here's a look at some of the projects that were able to be submitted. So we had one student who uh, she talked really a lovely long time about the uh, communism and capitalism issues going on that created the Cuban Missile Crisis. She created a beautiful presentation while we listened to her speech. She was really cool. And I remember this man, I don't know his last name, but the first name, Mr. Vasili, who was the savior of the nuclear war. He disagreed with sending a nuclear weapon, and so we didn't go to war. So, very cool presentation, and I love the pictures. Really neat. Thank you, Miss Miriam. Then we also had a student who, uh, several students talked about the Vietnam War. Um, our student Sky, she talked about uh, basically a before, during, and after of the Vietnam War. She said she worked a really long time on her project as well. Not every student turned in a uh, presentation. That was not the requirement, but it's something that these students chose to do and they shared with me so graciously. And then we also had one student he didn't get to present yet, Mr. Musa. He created a um, he created a really cool looking, um, if I can share it with you, a newspaper article and this was uh, concentrating on the Little Rock Nine which is the nine students who were integrated into a white students school. They were African American students and they were able to go to school in that area for the first time and he chose to write an article about that like in a newspaper. Really cool. I can't wait to hear what he has to say about his presentation too. So um, not every student was able to share their items with us, but once that they do share, I would be happy to post them if they're available on Canvas so that everybody can get an idea of what we also learned. We had one student, she created a, a flag that was chopped in half. One side had the United States flag and then it had the Russian or USSR Soviet Union flag on the other side and the dates of the Cold War. and the division that that represented between democracy and the uh, you know socialism and communism at the time and then another student uh, two students had some amazing presentations on the Vietnam War as well beautiful pictures and even videos included um, we had a student he created a picture of a Sherman tank if I'm saying it right and he uh, talked about how the tanks were used not only from World War II but in Korean War and later even partly in the Vietnam War too. So uh, we also have some students who are talking about the Berlin Wall, also a presentation. There were people, other another student talked about the Cuban Missile Crisis, great presentation too. And then we have a couple of students still left to go that I believe will continue to uh, finish up talking about the Korean War, Vietnam War, and then also possibly some of the um, cool people from the civil rights movement, including Martin Luther King and so on. So I can't wait to hear more from our students next week. We are finishing up this unit and moving on to more present day history. Uh, I can't wait to see more and thank you so much for watching and catching up. If you'd like to look more at our presentations, they are available online right now. As soon as students send them to me, I'll post more. So thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.